Two months ago I bought a complete gaming and streaming setup on AliExpress and today everything has finally arrived so we're going to unbox all the items in the hopes that we can find some great deals for your setup. The desk that arrived is very very heavy, not as heavy as the desk massage chair I bought though and looks like I did order a corner desk and I think that the brand of this mouse pad, Tribe X or something, I think the desk from my first wish.com setup was from the same brand, that desk was pretty solid. Now real quick the product that I'm most excited about is this right here. These are RGB clouds that I found on AliExpress and this is what we make the clouds with. I'm not sure what it's called, apparently cotton batting. And this is a complete kit, RGB strips, the clouds themselves. I think this here is a reflector for on the ceiling to amplify the light effect of the LED strips. And besides that, it even comes with a glue gun. Look at that. Now before we go on, let's talk about something we've all dealt with before. The oh so annoying windows activation watermark. Just always there in the corner like an awkward third wheel on a perfect date. But there is great news. Because the sponsor of this video, yourcdkey.com has the remedy. They offer genuine keys for Windows 10 and 11 Pro for a no brainer price of just 17 bucks for Windows 10 Pro. And my code TVN can get this price even lower. Go to VIPYourCDKey.com, enter code TVN for a 25% discount to buy Windows 10 Pro for only $16.40. You'll get a key within minutes and using it will immediately get rid of the annoying activation watermark. The link will be on top of my description and don't forget to use code TVN for a 25% discount. Look at how well they wrapped all of this stuff. Now it does feel like my desk has been wrapped in toilet paper, however all of the parts are perfectly unscratched. Now like with most of these types of desks you do get stuff like this stand to put your games in or like this cup holder. Who's gonna use this. This is like having a bumper sticker on your car. Now this is definitely a sturdy desk. There were so many screws. It was a lot of work building this desk but the end result is very solid. Now I gotta say I'm pretty happy with the desk. It's a great starting point for all the other stuff. There is quite a lot of space to be fair. Now I bought two monitors for this setup. This here is going to be the main monitor. But then as the second monitor I wanted a 22 inch one, a smaller one. I couldn't decide which one to get but this one had a dragon coming out of the screen so how could I not try this. However, we do have a problem because the monitor did not arrive, so I'm not really gonna waste your time with this one. I'm gonna put it on the stand right now, but I did buy two monitor arms. We're gonna install that later together with the main monitor. Now, this was a very cheap monitor from Amazon. I will definitely link it in the description because this monitor is awesome as a second monitor. I know it's 22 inch, not that big, but as a second monitor you just needed to check some stuff, maybe during stream or to watch a video while you're working. And this was very cheap. It also looks clean. I think this is gonna go great great with the main monitor we bought. Now something that did arrive is the massage desk chair. I'm not gonna completely build it right now but I want to see how much work it's gonna be. I've always wanted to test a massage chair. We can already see the connections here. I can't really feel any of the pressure points. Usually how this works is there are some balls that are kind of turning but I mean look at this. These are the only screws they give you. So assembling it is probably gonna be pretty easy. Now, the webcam that I bought was very well packaged. Look at this. It even bounces <laughs> if you drop it on the desk and I'm really curious for this one because as you can see on the website it was $23. However a 4k webcam for $23 that's probably gonna be too good to be true. Now it also looks like it has a ring light and there's a touch button on the top to activate it. Alright the next thing I want to unbox is the microphone. By the way this here is gonna be really exciting. I found these RGB wall panels on AliExpress. They looked extremely interesting and they also were pretty affordable. Now the microphone that I bought is one of the more legit pieces of gear between all this stuff because it is from 5 Fine, which is a pretty popular brand. You can find a lot of these mics on Amazon as well. You've got the Fifine K669B, for example. That's one of the most popular budget microphones. Now, this here is the Fifine K658. This one was a bit more expensive than the budget model I just mentioned, so I'm curious if it's gonna sound better. The packaging is definitely more premium. As I said, this is definitely a decent product. It should also have RGB on the bottom. And if you take the microphone, ah, as you can see, this here is an RGB ring. It also comes with a very big shock mount look at this. This is a pretty big microphone. Look at this. Now luckily for us we're gonna be able to get rid of this ugly mouse pad. It came with the desk however it's small, it looks cheap, it's ugly and what I have here is an AliExpress RGB mouse pad and this is probably not official but it's an ROG mouse pad. I'm really curious how that works in terms of licensing and lawsuits. It's the perfect size for this desk. I'm really happy with it. However it is curled at the sides and to be fair at pretty much every other place as well. So I 
hope that's gonna be better by the time we end this setup. I can't wait to see this mousepad with RGB because as you can see on the website, it looked amazing and I think it was around $11 when I bought it. Now, the next product wasn't that cheap for AliExpress. It's a wireless gaming mouse and with this mouse being $45, it comes in the range of the Logitech G305. That's pretty much my favorite budget wireless mouse and I'm curious how this is going to compare. Now, I gotta be honest, when I was unboxing this and I saw this first, I kind of liked it. It reminded me of the Glorious Model O or that very premium mouse that Razer just launched. However, then I saw the bottom part of the mouse. I mean, as you can see on the back, it's very white. I don't really like the feeling of that. Now, I have to say it is a very light mouse. You also don't need to put batteries in, which is the case with the Logitech G305, which makes it very heavy. And it also comes with one extra thing, which is a cap for here if you don't like the honeycomb structure. So you can take this one off and then put on the other cap and then the mouse looks like this. We can also find the wireless receiver under this. And I also bought a $5 mouse, which we're gonna check out later. I thought that was something that felt more like AliExpress, so I wanted to test this $45 mouse to the $5 one later. You know, that massage chair is just smiling at me. I cannot wait to install it and test it. Now, I did get two RGB floodlights and one tiny one. Look at this. This here is going to have another use compared to this one. However, there is a problem. I did have the same problem in my AliExpress gadgets video. These lights come without a power plug. However, you can buy that on AliExpress. It's very cheap, so I'm gonna try to find one that I have lying around here. Alright, now, these wall panels looked pretty awesome on the picture on AliExpress. And I do have pretty decent expectations for them, because they weren't that cheap. Now, I see that one piece costed $12. And now, what I got was 10 pieces, which was $46. The first thing I wonder is what the size of them is gonna be, and I guess we'll see pretty soon. Now, these are definitely not nano leaf panels size or for example these ones are govi light panels but i do have to say even though they are not as big it's not that they are tiny i mean a few of them combined are gonna cover quite some area and also the govi light panels cost 130 dollars compared to 45 for these now i arranged the panels and i connected them all together and the way i had to do it was basically by connecting these usb slots that they have on the side and the way you connect them is using this connector here that connects two usb slots together you just push it firmly into one of the panels and then you can easily connect another panel to it. Now the RGB controller also connects through USB and that one just connects straight to a panel and that way everything is ready. However, I do see now that it also powers through USB, which kind of is a good thing because we can just plug it into the PC and call it a day. However, the problem is that we don't have one yet, so I cannot test them. So for now, the promo pictures will have to do until we can test them, but I'm sure that together with these RGB clouds that we're gonna install later, this AliExpress setup is gonna look quite a amazing. Now, these are two pretty heavy packages, and I think that these are gonna be the monitor arms. As you can see on the website, they don't look cheap like some of the cheap Amazon monitor arms. I mean, they look much more sturdy and more professional, and all of that for a price of around $16. So, we gotta check this out and test it first, but there's a pretty big possibility that this is the type of arm that companies buy for 10 to 15 bucks in China, and then sell on Amazon for around $45. It does feel like it's gonna be a pretty small one. Maybe I'm wrong. This here is the stand. I mean, so far, I think this is gonna be a pretty sturdy and decent monitor arm. Now, I did have to do some assembling. However, that's required for most monitor arms, but this is pretty sturdy. Now, I'm gonna connect our second monitor to the arm because I wanna check out the cable management features. Both parts of the arm allow you to route the cable through it, and this allows for really clean cable management. By the way, yes, the yellow stickers are removable, and you could remove the glue to make it very clean. Now, I think that this massage chair is gonna be pretty easy to install. This here is the remote. I have no idea why I bought this chair. I'm not gonna show you the whole building process. It turned out to be more work than I expected, but I did it all in one go because I was so excited to test out if AliExpress has a great massage chair. All right, we can test the massage chair. Now, usually these arm rests, you have to take out these screws that connect this, screw them back in, and it should be an easy process. However, this screw here is completely stuck. You probably saw me struggling with it in the time lapse, and there's no way to move it anymore. It's completely broken. So I guess this is the first malfunctioning AliExpress product from this video. There's also this part here. It should go on the bottom as some kind of cap. And as you can see, completely broken. Now I am curious for the massage function though. So I'm gonna click on power. Ooh, it's vibrating. It's not like there are balls in the back that are kind of massaging you. However, this is vibrating, but it's definitely very noticeable. This is pretty fun. <laughs> 
Now, I hadn't seen this before, but these wall panels do come with a power plug, so we can actually test them. And one has turned on, however, the other ones are doing nothing. All right, I made a mistake, so these connectors do have a direction. And I probably used the wrong one. Yes, indeed, the direction is going that way. And look at that, they all work. Now, I have to be honest, they are not perfectly smooth. You can kind of see one, two, three, four light sources in one panel, and it doesn't perfectly blend. However, it's definitely gonna be a great addition right there on the wall. And this RGB cloud that we still need to install will come right there in the corner on top there and then to the bottom. Now, here I have a Red Dragon and then a $5 mouse that I mentioned before. Feeling this now, I don't even know if I should compare it to the $45 wireless mouse. I'm still going to unpack it though, $5 for a mouse, I wanna test that. Now, the keyboard does come with a keycap puller and the switch puller, so that could mean it's at least half decent. They are red linear switches, which means that there's no bump when you press them. They just go from the top all the way to the bottom. And I have to be honest, I've typed on worse budget keyboards. I'm looking up the price here, I think think it was $45. I can't really find it anywhere. I'm gonna take off one of the keycaps and as you can see red switches. I have to be honest for the price I do kind of like this keyboard. Now will I like the $5 mouse? That's a whole other question. Just like in my wish.com setup that I've built like a year ago the mouse is extremely light. It's probably pretty similar. As you can see I did make fun of the weight of the mouse in that video and I'm gonna do it right now. <laughs> <laughs> now the thing is there's a lot of very lightweight mice that are premium ones that are lightweight on purpose But I think this one is just lightweight because it's so crappy The feel of the mouse is definitely crappy I feel like the lifespan of this button is hundred clicks and I'm pretty much halfway through the build quality is well I don't want to say crappy again, but pretty crappy. Now, I also bought a ring light from AliExpress and I mean, again, the build quality. Now, we have a problem with the ring light because it doesn't come with a big stand for on the desk. Well, it comes with a stand for on the desk, but... <laughs> It's pretty low. It's also not a very sturdy stand. I <laughs> mean, look at this. <laughs> you can clamp your phone between this and then attach it here. Now, the headset, before I take a look at it, I'm gonna check the price. $28 and a lot of good reviews. I think it's an RGB headset. You don't see that a lot. We had one in my latest Star Wars video that was white with some RGB. <laughs> yeah, look at this. I think this is gonna be a light strip. Now, the packaging was literally this foam bag with the headset inside. And then besides that, there's a tiny manual and that's everything you're getting in this box. Now, before we hang these RGB clouds on the ceiling, by the way, I'm really curious if this is actually going to work or if crap is going to come out of here and do nothing. And if we didn't get scammed, then this should be a 27-inch high refresh rate monitor. Now, this stand looks very similar to our other monitor. This here was a stand of the other one. This is of the 27-inch one. All right, now, this is pretty interesting. First of all, look at the difference in size. This is 22-inch, this is 27-inch. But here's the interesting thing. Look at the back of this monitor the blue line here. This 27 inch monitor has the same blue lines and then if you look at the side the way this monitor looks here. Look when I hold the 27 inch one next to it. Now this could definitely be a coincidence however the blue line I mean that's a pretty suspicious detail. These monitors could very well come from the same factory. I hope applying this reflective film is worth it because this is not a fun and easy time. Okay so I figured out how it works with the glue gun. As you can see it's powered on it's very hot I can smell it and basically what they give you is solid glue and then as you can see see on this test paper it comes out of the front as liquid hot glue i can show you the rgb already there is a remote so let's turn it on okay there we go i hope there are some thunder effects okay we at least do have animated effects and then what they tell you is to push the cotton together so it sticks then you have to pour some glue on the cotton and then we just stick it on top of the strip and push it a bit and it should stay on the wall maybe push it a bit more try not to burn my hand on the glue now these lights come with an application and as you can see i made a custom t and would you look at that this is going to look absolutely amazing when it is finished i'm quickly gonna finish everything so we can check it out so i continued installing the whole cloud and i have to be honest it wasn't that fun i tried using the glue gun for a while but it was a real mess so i took an electric stapler gun and i fixed the cotton to the ceiling that way and even though i probably destroyed my roof that was a much easier way to do it after that i used my laser leveler to perfectly position these rgb triangles and at this point we are pretty much ready to check out the awesome result. Now, before I turn off the lights and I show you all the RGB together, I'm gonna give my rapid fire thoughts on all of the gear. The webcam, as you expected, absolute garbage. The microphone is a great option, especially if you keep it closer to your mouth. However, don't bother trying to get this on AliExpress. Just look for it on Amazon if you like the sound. The RGB it has is pretty sick. The wireless mouse works fine. However, I really don't like the design. Then the $5 mouse. 
absolute trash. The RGB clouds are actually amazing, you will see it in a second. This thing looks cheap when it's turned on, but it will do the job. The keyboard is decent, but again, also available on Amazon. Now, this headset does look cool. Look at the RGB, the ring on the top. It also sounds much better than you would expect. However, the cushions feel like trash, so the whole thing is trash. The monitor arms, these are great. Also very cheap, so really good option. And the monitor, 1080p. It is actually 165 hertz. However, more expensive than on Amazon, and I would never buy a monitor on AliExpress or Wish. The RGB mousepad is also pretty cool, but you almost have to turn off your room lights in order to see the RGB. It is turned on right now, and there's pretty much no light. And the ring light, well, it does the job, so not that much to say about it. However, we would have needed a desk stand. Growing on YouTube can be very challenging. I use vidIQ every day to find hidden opportunities. For example, like this wish.com video that got 3.6 million views, 21,000 subs, and that made me $15,000. That video carried my growth for a whole year and I actually wouldn't have made it without vidIQ recommending it to me as a daily video idea. All of these huge creators use vidIQ for the AI coach, keyword research, competitor analysis, and finding the best time to post their videos. I absolutely love vidIQ, it has all the tools that you need to grow on YouTube and you can try it for a whole month for $1. It's an exclusive offer they gave me my own landing page. The link to this $1 offer will be on the screen and in my description. Thanks a lot for watching this video. That's my wish.com setup. It was crappier than this one so you might want to check that out.